Welcome to another Quick Tips video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I set up my modeler and I feel like it's a pretty efficient setup for modeler. Okay, so um, I always have three windows open when I run modeler. I always have my numeric window open, my layers window open and my statistics window open and they are represented with the shortcuts N, W and F7 for layers. Um, to do so would take up a lot of room on the, the screen. So what I tend to do, or what I always do, is make my window just that little bit smaller so that I can have N up at the top right, W in the middle and F7 at the bottom of my screen. Uh, these all just sit here well, Lightwave doesn't have any kind of uh, locking or anything, any docking facilities. However, you can get lots of different applications that will do that for you. So um, have a look for those. Uh, on That's on Windows. For the Mac, I'm not so sure. Uh, there are probably tools that you can use. Okay, so with that done, to start off with, uh, I like to also arrange my um, preferences a little bit as well. So to go into general options, I press O and that brings up the window here that we can see. Um, the content directory is where usually it's uh, informed by wherever you've stored your content directory in layout. If you haven't launched layout yet, then you might want to do it here. If not, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, Preset shelf, again, edit the location list if you've got a set of presets that are off the normal uh, path. Um, for the rest of it, all your polygon settings, etc., I leave these all as they are by default. On the OBJ tab, again, I leave it all by default except for import size and export size if I know that I'm going to be work working with objects uh, often not scaled correctly. So quite often you'll find that um, OBJs come in with a default scale of uh, 10 millimeters, which means they need to be scaled up, or they can come in uh, with default scales that are vastly too large, so you have to scale them down. Lastly, on color space, I tend to leave this disabled in Modeler. I don't do my surfacing in Modeler. I always do it in Layout. So for Modeler, I will assign my surface names, etc. But I'm not worried about how color accurate it is. If you do use Modeler a lot for your um, surfacing, then perhaps you should set this to sRGB. Okay. The next set of preferences are on the D key. Um, and you have several tabs here. Uh, and in layout, when we're dealing with simple geometry, like I am here, uh, I tend to have show normals on just to assure me that my polygons are facing in the right direction. It becomes particularly important when you're dealing with transparency or reflection or things like that. Um, then in GL, I leave it as it is. If I'm using very high quality textures, uh, I might up this to give me a better view of what the texture is going to look like. But often I won't bother because it just uses up memory that you can use in layout. It's not as important in modeler. Okay, so other than that, I just leave everything as it is. Viewports is the big one. We'll come back to that. Backdrops. Uh, I only ever use this if I am going to be uh, modeling from a picture and I need to actually have my picture in the background so I can model against the, the images. Uh, I'll deal with that in a separate video. Interface. Um, again, these I can leave as they are to uh, as just leave them by default because the defaults are usually pretty good. Um, sometimes I get rid of double click to deselect uh, on the grounds that I might double tap by accident and lose my uh, selection. But it's not a problem usually. Units is the last one um, that 
people living users in countries like the US, Liberia and Myanmar might want to change this to English. However, unless you're going to be using measurements a lot, uh, I would suggest that you just leave it as uh, SI. Um, if you need to create um, measurements in English units, um, let's say, for instance, I need to increase my uh, y dimension. I want to re reduce it by an inch or two inches, let's say. I can say minus two inches and then Lightwolf will do the conversion for me as necessary. So I'll just undo that for the moment and press space. Um, I'm going to select these two again, just so you can see. Now let's go back to the viewports tab. In here, we can leave all the other viewports, these three viewports, as they are. However, for the top right, the perspective view, I tend to use independent center, independent zoom, and independent visibility as well. For independent visibility, I don't need to see the normals in this viewport. As long as I can see them here and they're pointing in the right directions, I don't really care in the perspective. It's more an overall view of the uh, object that I'm trying to make rather than individual polygons. So I turn off show normals here. Um, likewise, there are other things you can turn off like points and so on and so forth to make your object more um, similar to a rendered image. I don't think that's necessary, but these three I think are very useful because it means that you can zoom in and out of your object, you can rotate it and you can move it around without affecting these three viewports here which I consider to be vital when you're actually modeling something. So that's it for a quick look at the modeler options. In a future videos, we'll come on to layers, how to do foreground and background layers, and what use these uh, statistics are. Okay, all right, speak to you next time. Bye.